Hello, I'm Keith from Less EMF. When shopping for a Gauss meter, one of the most important features to consider is whether you want a one-axis or three-axis meter. The sensor in a one-axis Gauss meter only looks in one axis. Because magnetic fields are oriented in space, the sensor within the meter can only detect the field properly if it is aligned with the field. Here, we have a one-axis meter which has only one sensor in it. If I have only one field present, and I know the orientation of it, I can orient the meter to best see the field. In the case of this extension cord, the field is perpendicular to the cord. Holding the meter like so gives the correct reading. If the meter is turned 90 degrees from the maximum reading, it will read lower. One common misunderstanding is that a single axis meter will point towards the source of the field. Not true. Remember, the meter aligns with the direction of the field, and the field almost never points toward the source. In the example of the extension cord, the field is perpendicular to the cord. In most real life situations, multiple fields from multiple sources are present, and you don't know the orientation of the field. Therefore, to get a correct reading with this type of meter, you must make three orthogonal measurements at right angles to each other, then square the readings, add them, and take the square root. This is called the root mean square, or RMS. This is very time consuming and no one really does this. You can get a good approximation by slowly rotating the meter until you find the position which yields the maximum reading. It is easy to understand how it is possible to get an incorrect and lower than actual reading if the meter is not properly aligned. A three axis meter has three sensors in it aligned at right angles to each other so it is always looking in all directions. The meter automatically interprets the output from the three sensors and reports the result as a single number. Therefore, this type of meter is always correctly aligned and no rotation is required to get a correct reading. This type of meter takes less time to use, but generally costs more than its single axis counterpart. There is an important exception to this statement. The sensors in the meter are not all in exactly the same location. So, if the meter is quite close to the source of the field, that is, if the field changes dramatically with distance, then the location of the individual sensors within the field becomes important. If you rotate the meter in a high field gradient, you will see a difference in the readout as the various sensors change positions within the field because one sensor will be in a high field strength location and another will be in a lower field strength location. So, how do you find the source of a field? It's simple whether you are using a one axis or three axis meter. Just move around the area with the meter. As you get closer to the source, the readout will go up. As you move away, it will go down. Both types of meters can be useful. A triple axis meter is obviously easier and faster to use. A single axis meter is invaluable if you need to know the orientation of the field, which is particularly useful if you are designing magnetic shielding or trying to distinguish the fields from multiple sources. Call us if you need help selecting the proper meter for your application.